Hi guys, my name is Tatiana Medinsova and you are on my crochet channel. In this video I will show you how to make beers like this. Don't forget to be active, likes, comments, subscriptions. I also invite you to my Etsy shop who wants to thank me for the free tutorials or make it easier for yourself to crochet this toy. The size of the beer may vary. I'll talk about this later in the video, so look, this information will be there. The beers are very cool. The beer's legs are made on joints. Therefore, the legs move and rotate. The beer sits well. Many people asked me to do such a masterclass on a big beer. I really liked the result. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to subscribe. I look forward to your likes and comments under the video. And I wish you a creative mood to make such wonderful beers. Yarn Himalaya Dolphin Baby. Now I will make a pink beer, color number 303. Yarn characteristics 100 grams, 120 meters, 131 yards, 100% micro polyester. Hook number 4 is the main one. Hook number 5 for a scarf. Yarn for the scarf Alize Softy Plus. In general, any yarn you have will be suitable for a scarf. For the beer you can also use any yarn, cotton, plush. The yarn can be thicker or conversely thinner. Now I'll tell you what kind of beer you get from Himalaya Dolphin Baby yarn. I'll tell you what eyes and nose you need. And then I'll tell you how you can make the beer even bigger, which nose and eyes to use. I'll show you photos of what a larger beer looks like. The blue beer turned out to be 35 cm. For this beer I used two skeins of yarn. However, judging by the comments on other toys, perhaps two skeins will not be enough for someone. It depends on the density of crochet on the yarn itself. The label says that the length of the skein is 120 meters, but in reality it may be different. Therefore, as a guide, you will need two skeins, but maybe a little more. Therefore, have another half skein in stock, so that you definitely have enough. The toy is big, therefore you need a lot of yarn, but the beer is worth it. The toy is really great. The beer's legs are attached to the body at the joints. The beer can sit because its legs rotate. For this beer, 35 cm, I use plastic joints 25 mm. For this beer, I use 12 mm ice. Any ice can be used. The blue beer has regular black ice. For the pink beer, I want to use pink eyes and pink nose. Nose 22 mm on a mount. To sew the part together, you will need a needle. By the way, about sewing on parts. The beer is crocheted very simply. We can say that the difficulty level of the toy is for beginners. The body and head are crocheted as one piece. The arms of the beer are also crocheted, the legs are attached to joints. We only need to sew on the ears, muzzle and tail. Scissors, marker, filler and uh, that's all. I think I said everything. Let me tell you right now about the bigger beer. On the screen you see photographs of what the beers look like. If the beer on the left is uh, 35 cm, then the beer in the photo has a height of uh, 42 cm. I showed this even bigger beer on my Instagram. The beer, 42 cm tall, is crocheted from Alize Veluto yarn. This yarn is thicker compared to Himalaya Dolphin Baby. Therefore, thanks uh, to the thicker yarn, the beer is larger. For a 42 cm beer, I used uh, 16 mm size. For a blue beer, 
35 cm, you can use both uh, 12 mm and 14 mm eyes. For the beer from Alize Veluta, the eyes are 16 mm and uh, the nose is 24 mm. I made a beer and a scarf using Alize Veluta yarn using crochet hook number 5. The joint for the 42 cm beer can be used with either 25 mm or 30 mm. At the same time, the crochet pattern for two BRs is absolutely the same. The size of the toy simply changes due to the yarn. Now we will make arms and legs for the beer. Let's make arms for the beer. Everything is crocheted very simply. Let's begin. Hook number 4. I will attach a video for beginners in the upper right corner, where I show in more detail and tell you how we crochet. That video contains all the key points that you need to know and be able to do to make such a beer. Be sure to watch that video and you will definitely be able to make such a beer, even if you have never crocheted before. Thanks to this video, you will learn the basic techniques and you will succeed. Here I show exactly how to make a beer, but I don't teach you how to crochet. I don't make an amigurumi marine, I make a loop and two chain stitches. And in the first chain stitch we make six single crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Let me remind you that we are making an arm for a beer. In the second row we make six increases. In each stitch there are two single crochets. I recommend using a marker to control the crocheting process. The first increase, two, three, four, five, and the sixth increase. In the third row we make 12 increases. We also make two single crochets in each stitch. At the end of the row there will be 24 single crochets. That is, whole row we simply make two single crochets in each stitch. The third row is done. From the fourth to the eighth row inclusive, five rows, we make 24 single crochets in each row. In each stitch, one single crochet from the fourth to the eighth row inclusive. I want to show you, I have already made two rows of 24 single crochets. Next row number six. We turn the crochet right side out. In toys we always do this and only in some cases we don't. After we have turned to the crocheting, we continue further. The inside is the wrong side and the outside is the front side. We continue to crochet as I described. Five rows of 24 single crochets are made. In the ninth row we make four single crochets and one decrease. And do this four times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 20 single crochets. I recommend making one single crochet and rearranging the marker. Three, four and make one decrease. I make decreases behind the front wall. If anyone needs it, 
I'll attach a video about the decreases in the upper right corner. Come in, look. Again, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 decrease if the second time. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 decrease if the third time. And the last time 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 decrease. This is the fourth time. From the 10th to the 12th row inclusive, 3 rows, we make 20 single crochets in each row. That is, uh, we simply make one single crochet in each stitch from the 10th to the 12th row inclusive. Ready. In the 13th row, we make 8 single crochets and 1 decrease and do this 2 times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 18 single crochets. Further, from the 14th to the 16th row inclusive, 3 rows, we make 18 single crochets in each row. Ready. In the 17th row we make 7 single crochets and 1 decrease and do this 2 times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 16 single crochets. In the 18th row we make 16 single crochets. Done. In the 19th row we make 6 single crochets and 1 decrease and do this 2 times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 14 single crochets. In the 20th and 21st row we make 14 single crochets in each row. Ready. Next we make a slip stitch in the next stitch. Cut the thread. There is no need to leave uh, the long end of the thread. Tighten the thread and I also pull the thread to the other side. Add the filler and one arm for the BR is ready. The second arm for the BR is crocheted in exactly the same way. Filler added, two arms for the BR are ready. Next we will make the legs for the BR. Let's start as usual, loop and 2 chain stitches and in the first chain stitch we make 6 single crochets. In the second row we make 6 increases. In each stitch there are 2 single crochets. At the end of the row there will be 12 single crochets. In the third row we make 12 increases. In each stitch there are 2 single crochets. At the end of the row there will be 24 single crochets. I recommend using a marker to control the crocheting process. This is what the bear's future leg looks like now. In the fourth row we make one single crochet and one increase and do this until the end of the row. We will be able to repeat this combination 12 times. At the end of the row there will be 36 single crochets. One single crochet is done and we move the marker. And one increase is 2, 3. In the next stitch. One single crochet is 4 and one increase is 5, 6. And so on until the end of the row. 7 and one increase is 8, 9, 10 and one increase is 11, 12. 13 and one increase is 14, 15. 
16 and one increase is 17, 18. And the last time, one single crochet is 34 and one increase is 35, 36. From the 5th to the 10th row inclusive, 6 rows, we make 12 single crochets in each row. I count 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is, we crochet 6 rows without changes, one single crochet in each stitch down and be sure to turn it uh, right side out. In the 11th row we make 12 single crochets at the beginning of the row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 6 decreases in a row, the first decrease, the second decrease, the third decrease, the fourth decrease, the fifth decrease, the sixth decrease, And 12 single crochets to the end of the row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. In the 12th row we make uh, 9 single crochets at the beginning of the row. You can move the marker Again we make 6 decreases in a row And 9 single crochets to the end of the 12th row. In the 13th row we make 8 single crochets at the beginning of the row. Now we need to make 4 decreases And 8 single crochets until the end of the 13th row. This is what the bear's future leg looks like now. This is sad beauty. From the 14th to the 24th row inclusive, we make 20 single crochets in each row. 
Now we have 20 single crochets in a row. Therefore, we crochet from the 14th to the 24th row inclusive in each stitch one single crochet. During the crocheting process, gradually add filler. We form the desired shape of the pierce leg. Do it ourselves. The leg is done up to the 24th row inclusive, filler added. In the 25th row we make 3 single crochets and 1 decrease and do this 4 times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 16 single crochets. In the 26th row we make 2 single crochets and 1 decrease and do this 4 times just until the end of the row. At the end of the row there will be 12 single crochets. We make these two rows ourselves and do not add any filler yet. We will insert the joint. Two rows are made, insert the joint. We insert the joint three rows below the top of the leg. I insert the joint in the middle so the toy on my foot will point straight forward. You can also insert the joint to the right, closer to the toy. In this case, the bear will turn out to be club footer. Please note that we need a left and a right leg. Therefore, in one leg the joint is inserted on one side and in the second leg on the other side. Therefore, when you make the second leg yourself, you need to insert the joint on the other side. Also, the joint uh, must be inserted at the same level. Once uh, the joint is in place, more filler can be added to the leg. We remove the marker, add filler completely to the leg, Filler added. We will finish making the leg with decreases. 6 decreases. If necessary, you can add filler to this hole. I add more filler to make the leg look nice and will close the hole. Now I like everything. If you need to do more than 6 decreases, then of course do it. This is a load. I made 6 decreases. Slip stitch and cut the thread. We pull out the thread, tighten the thread if necessary and hide uh, the end of the thread inside. This is how I pull to the thread into the side of the leg towards the joint. We form a beautiful shape of the upper part of the leg. On the side of the joint I additionally tie a knot so that the thread is fixed more securely. We hide the thread inside. This is what the finished leg for the future BR looks like. One leg and the other leg. The second leg is crocheted uh, in exactly the same way except for the joint, which must be inserted from the reverse side. 
the joints should be on different sides. I like everything. In the next part we will make the body, head and also crochet the arms and attach the beard's legs to the joints. See you soon!